There was a video that you were in for your local theater company. And in the video, you were talking about the fact that you're a Syrian Iranian and how you don't always feel like you belong in the States, but you don't always feel like you belong in Iran, but that this sort of not belonging or whatever we want to label it that you yeah. don't necessarily see as a bad thing. And of yeah. course, like, I feel like most of Syrians feel that way, but even just people who just move around and you have more than one home and you have this experience of, of yeah, multiple homes. People always frame that as a negative thing, but to see it as a positive thing or a not selfish thing was interesting. Yeah, well, I kind of think about the reason. Why is it? Why is it that it's, um, what's wrong with deciding I'm an orphan human, you know, like I don't belong to any <laughs> fatherland or motherland. I like, a <laughs> and it's, what's wrong? With and then when you go through it, which we did, we left our country, our continent, and then we were the minority anyway in Iran, being a Syrian. So we're kind of an expert, uh, you know, um, a, a, what do you call it? Minorities. We were born minorities. So we experienced, and then we came here, we became like a double minorities, triple minorities. After a while, I, we have lived long enough that I don't feel I'm not, I don't belong here. But I don't belong here. And then I went back to Iran and I didn't belong to Iran. And then I said, wow, but I like me. I like my life. I like, you know, what I'm doing. And it has nothing to do. There's no attachment. There's no strings attached to any of these places. And if everybody else felt like this, so, the, so I don't have any pride that I'm from this to me, the benefit of it for mankind is this, when you don't feel you belong, that's your country, your culture, your language. It's ego, it's all ego. Nationalism is egotism. So the less you have, the better human beings you are. The citizen, we can all become a citizen of the world, right? Mm -hmm. That has a meaning. It's not just that sentence. I'm a citizen of the world. A lot of people say that, you know. What does it mean? It means you don't have any legion to any land. It's a land. It's like a, somebody said, a philosopher said, he said, that's like taking a knife and cutting the world and saying, this is this and this is that. It's like you injuring it. You're cutting. You can't do that. It's mm -hmm. one earth, one, you know. So not belonging has given me that uh, feeling that uh, they're fam familiar. We, we like familiar things, you know? When I hear somebody speaking the language I understand or I eat something that I remember when I was young, I had it or, you know, smell or a scenery. But I don't wanna go beyond that. It, that that's not sacred. Everybody has those feelings, you know? So why is this more important? And why should I hold this, you know, say this is my language, my, you know? Family is good, you know, family, because we need that familiarity, that care. But even can be proud of your family. You can be happy. I don't like the word pride, for instance. Oh. We use it. I'm so proud of you, you know? Mm -hmm. First of all, why would I be proud of you? You ever have whatever you've done, you have done it. Why would I be proud? You know, <laughs> then you're giving yourself an, you know, <laughs> giving yourself an importance, you know? Right, right. That like you because you belong to me. I'm, you know, it's like right. so so it losing that I think is a good thing for us, not to have it. Yeah. Or have less of it, I guess. And then I have had to argue, a lot of people argue, counter argue, said, no, but this way you keep your language or you keep the land or you don't, you would not sell it. This, this, again, they start having this, you know, no, I like my language because I was raised with speaking that language, not because it's a special language. I like it more now 
because I, I see it going. I see it disappearing. And then you are, no, no, let's, let's, let's keep speaking. I have to teach it to my sons, you know? But then again, I'm sure somebody else can come up with a different, you know, argument that no, because you see it, you see it in every culture, like watching these killing, dying for their land, for their land. It's like stupid people. And then now again, you hear it. 2021, you hear it, you know? Yeah, yeah. And it's like, that doesn't have, that's not our country. Our country is not like that. Yes, it is your country. Your country is as bad as bad as, as cruel as that. Especially know. the Americans right now, like, oh, this is not the America that we know. It's it like, is how not, is it not? It, 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 it is exactly where America is. America is that. And yeah. other things, you know? <laughs> Definitely that. Right, right. So yeah, it, it, nationalism, and I always think like, why there's an insistence of keeping it? Well, I think it's probably all around the world, but especially I think for Assyrians, it's that, like you said, that, oh, we're losing it. We have to hold on to it. So they have that stronger sense of like, we're the Assyrians. This is our flag. This is our language. This is our yeah. traditional food and dance and all of that. Yeah. So I guess maybe- This, this is that is good. But, you know, you know, when somebody think, as soon as you start to get be, it better, it's, if we are, yeah, we are, Tiamat is my dear family. I, yeah, I'm gonna say that, but I can't say I'm, uh, it's better or, you know, when that, that competition yeah. comes, like, uh, you know, war starts and I mean, uh, all those things, that it's ugly. We need less of it. We don't have to promote that. We have to promote other things. We have to promote being together, like each other more, as opposed to the differences, you know? Let's be able to, language is to communicate, right? Yeah. It's not for other reasons. I know uh, literature, like Iranians and their poetries are like, it's beautiful, you know? It expresses a lot of things, but fuck that. It hasn't helped mankind, all these beautiful poems, you know? <laughs> what has it done? Stuck to me, you know? Right. Hear my pain, you know? Hear my love, hear these things. Poetry is great, but it hasn't done. What has it done for mankind? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Language was created to communicate. I want to... Yeah know what you think i want to know what do you see when you see yeah. that's what i want to know i don't want this gymnastic with you know so it's all so it's, it's your one is on the top of them so you know it's like <laughs> it's an assyrian class but <laughs> i'm criticizing language but you, but you know what no, I mean. but it's yeah but it is the reality of it too because it's even trying to learn assyrian from across the globe like across yeah. three continents and like yeah. you don't have it's like you know I can practice it with you guys but it's not like if you're practicing uh Spanish and you're going to go to Spain or, or yeah, or Mexico or yeah. yeah. you can be around the people there and kind of have an intensive two months of learning Spanish it's as you know <laughs> where are you going to learn go to learn a Syrian other than home and development yeah. Especially now when we can do that, it is yes, so you, so you Who are you going to talk to in a Syrian when yeah. you learn it? You know, but for me, it's I want to talk to you guys in a Syrian, and I want to just understand it and then know that part of, of our family and everything. But yeah. it's more of that's the purpose behind it, less than to be able to communicate with like people and like the Assyrian yeah. people because it's like ooh, they're, they're all over the place. You know, you can't go to that one. You become yeah, what becomes closer you know when you get to know more and that's knowing more you know when you hear how we say this is funny yeah. or shut up in that language you know there's even closer to that you know person yeah so yeah well, it has yeah. benefits it has benefits yeah and uh, people say that you're a different person 
with each language that you speak that you act you're just a different like and I feel I know that with myself it's like completely true if I'm speaking when I'm speaking it fluently I'm a completely different person in one language than in another and I see it in other people too like if I see you speaking Assyrian versus you speaking English you're still Bella and you're still doing your Bella things but yeah, yeah. you are to me you look like you know you sound like a different person you act like a different person yeah, yeah. 